springtime bass fishing on Brownlee. Whoop, whoop. I get the fish with a guy who migrated up here from California. Say hi, Andrew. He look at he's bundled up like he's cold or something. We're out here on Brownlee Reservoir. I gotta get some pictures for some of my product demos of my uh, scales and stuff. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick a, I'm gonna catch fish on him real quick. He just doesn't. Know. I'll probably just cast out and just catch it real fast. But uh, I'll just do it on that. But we're gonna do some. We're gonna probably demonstrate some of the new Bill Lewis lures, the SB. The square bills and their MR6s, and maybe an MR12. And uh, we'll get some baits in there and see what we can catch uh, springtime fishing out here on Brownlee Reservoir. Right? He ain't gonna talk because see, he's all quiet when the camera's on. You should hear him talk. He's a chatty, chatty Kathy when, when he's not on camera. Come on! Whooping your butt, Britt. Whooping my butt. Look how fat that fish is. Holy moly. That fish is a little deeper. <laughs> no, I threw like parallel because you were down jacking around. While I was moving stuff out of your way. Whatever. He's been casting up in front of me so far. You know, they say a rattle trap, a good rattle trap like this, you can throw, this is to keep you off fishing. Um, you can throw it the slowest, so when the bite's kind of slow and they're not really chasing things, it's the one bait you can throw the slowest and still have a vibration in the bait when you're using it. So you don't have to retrieve it really fast. And uh, in this case, catch a nice fish like this. Good two and a half pound smallie. Oh yeah, two and a halfer. And, uh, and you can work it slow and then therefore, sorry, I got some splash, but uh, Catch that fish, and I think if I catch some more doing that today, so I'll let that go and, and I'll educate. You know, goodbye. We'll do that. I'll clean my lens off, and we're good. He wanted it. Oh, he's not that big, but he crushed it. Oh my gosh, he wanted it bad. <laughs> Dude, he come, he'd probably come at this thing at Mach 10. That's all hard. He caught me off guard. Wow. As you can see, just take your time. Did you notice I spot locked him that time? No. That's being courteous. He ain't courteous. He can catch around the boat.
camping pretty hard. Yep, look at that. That's not an ugly old trap, huh? Good. in the 80s and 90s, Wilson Lake, that was the killer. <laughs> I'm glad he caught one on it. I was hoping he would. I'd like to sell that off. Maybe I'd get uh, Wes to make us a couple. You get him? Get another one on that ugly bait? some horse meat on him, doesn't he? I'm gonna, I can't believe I forgot I had the camera on and I turned it off thinking I had it off. Why do you explain to people why you use a snap on it? Why do I use a snap ring? Yeah. So if I want to change. Okay, uh, just set action or anything like yeah. that. I, I, just, I just do it so I can change. I don't, you know, very snap ring stuff that I don't know, I put it all on my crankbait, so let's say I want to go to a deeper diver or a different collar. I just snap, snap, done, move on. I rarely direct tie to any any baits. Any moving bait? Any moving baits, I rarely direct tie. Rarely. I got some places we can go to, we're just gonna light them up. I'm pretty sure they weren't. There's probably a bunch of fish on them right now. There he is. Look at that. That's a that's a catfish. Oh, that's a good one. Look at him roll. <laughs> He's rolling like a catfish. <laughs> Woo! It's a daisy. Hmm. I'm just I was hopping that one right off the bottom there, like I was in California. Footballs, that's for sure. All I'm doing is just, so like I said, you take these traps and you just got to keep covering water. And you can just, you can, they're the most versatile bait you could ever use. Bill Lewis lures can be used in so many situations for for these bass on, on all these kind of reservoir type lakes that you're able to hit so many water columns and I can let it hit the bottom there and I can just like I was just taking that one and I was just making sure I'm staying deep all the way back to the boat and as you saw a second ago I caught that fish just got to just cover 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 and I'm only sitting in 10 foot so he hit me right off the bottom so I must have just went right by his face learn how to use your baits that's the key when you learn that you know they're not always just a cast and retrieve what kind of rod are you throwing that on this is a uh, dobbins champion series uh their 765 crank bait designed for baits like this heavier cranks heavier this is a half ounce trap that i'm throwing it's rare you see me throw a quarter very rare 
probably will stay in the half range. I don't go much bigger than that. It doesn't need to be much smaller. It seems like the most universal size for me. And I buy own way more halves than I do anything. I have a couple quarters and some others only because of uh, super shallow water and grass situation. I'll go to a quarter because a half is just too bulky to, 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 to get the retrieve I want. But, but yeah, and this is, believe it or not, I got 20 pound test on here. So, um, you know, you know, like here, especially, you know, you, you don't have to worry about line shy. Um, I got 20 on here because I was in California throwing traps and grass there and ripping it out of the grass. And, uh, but here we're focusing small mouth. There's not much grass. There's no grass in this water, but, uh, it's rock, but we're on a gravel bar flat so I can get away with what I'm doing here. Keep it down there and try a few things. I'm very on the Lewis Rail trap again. It's the best thing out here so far. <laughs> I've caught a lot of fish here in the past. A lot of big fish here in the past. It's on. It's already on. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. It's a heavy one. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that fatty. Oh my gosh. Come here. Oh boy, look at that. Chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Sweetheart, you might make it famous. I'm gonna take some pictures of this fish with my new scale, the waterproof scale. I think I'm gonna do that. We got one right here we can utilize, I think. We'll catch a couple more to see. Nice fatty. Nice fatty. <laughs> Holy moly! The tunnel, the what? The penalty box? That one's going in the penalty box. Holy moly! <laughs> Woo! Look at that crappie! That's a slap! <laughs> Holy moly! In the penalty box. You guys seen this before when I weigh in my fish? Wow! <laughs> we got three species in there! <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's the kind of get hooks in your hand. Say <laughs> smallmouth bass. That's what they look like, Brent. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I caught a catfish today, but we didn't put that on film. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he way he jerks, he sets the hook, and I can't go over to the camera because he's gonna hit me with a dang rod. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you use adult rods. <laughs> adult rods. Is that a crappie? 
know this is a bass, but it ain't that big. Maybe. It's a nice one. A little fatty. Ooh. Daddy got one on film. This is what a bass looks like. I know. I, him caught, in I just caught 12. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just got 12. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Fatty. Yeah, I have to show him what a real bass looks like. First time I ever got to fish with this guy. How long have I known you for? I was thinking about that the other night. <laughs> I mentioned 08. Was it 08 you met? Yeah, Toho. Oh, that's right. When I was fishing against good old Chief. God rest his soul. Miss it? There's another one. Good thing I had the camera on me so I could catch one. It's not a big one. It's a riddle one. This is the kind of gets the hooks in your hand. <laughs> These guys, not good. But anyways, yeah, I've known you since 08. That's what, two weeks? <laughs> and then he moves to Idaho. To retire. To retire. I don't think he really ever worked. Ah! And, uh, Can I, can I turn the camera towards you without hitting me? <laughs> got a big one? Is that yeah. a catfish? I don't think it's a big one. I think you probably suitcased another. <laughs> oh, he finally caught a fatty! A fatty! Careful. Careful. <laughs> You'll end up in uh, Florida's waiting room. <laughs> Look how fat that one is. It's fat. That's as big as my crappie. <laughs> I got him. Ooh, wait a minute. What have we got here? stacked in there. Oh, they are stacked. Stack, stack, stack. We're having to go to a jerk bait and keep the presentation in front of their face longer and they're swiping at it. If we come too fast with a trap or a crankbait, they're just, we're having better success with a jerk bait right now. But um, we haven't really had any big fish on the jerk bait yet, but uh, a lot of these smaller pound and a half type fish, um, definitely on the jerk bait. But it's definitely numbers, numbers. But I mean, it seems like the bigger fish came on the trap for both of us. But uh, definitely numbers on the jerk bait. But traps we can't get the trap to go through slow enough because the rocks snaggy so we're kind of staying in the strike zone column but maybe we'll get a big one you can't catch giants here on jerks but it's just not happening yeah He's in the net. That one's small. Did you get one? Did you get one? He got one.
This one, Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug. talking you know about that big and I my battery was dead and I was gonna film the crappie but there's a pile of fish just breaking these crappie up right here on the bottom and uh, I don't know where it went but I went to go film that crappie and uh, and we've been catching fish all through here with that crappie Eight, two and a half, three inches. About the size of uh, Bill Lewis rail trap. About the size of a rail trap. And uh, it is a good one though. <laughs> it is a good one. This might be another contender for the live well for a photo shoot with the scale, huh? Maybe not. Huh? Watch your rod tip. Oh. Yeah, well, it is a good one though. Tiger strike. That man, look how you can tell he's been up shallow for a while. A lot of fish right here on this corner. Usually is. Whoop. See if you can't do it. What do you say we call it a day? Thank you. I think we well, should. His thumbs are sore. <laughs> We probably caught several smallmouth today, several catfish and a big crappie. But I think uh, we're going to call it quits. We may fish a little bit on the way back. If we catch a big one on the way back, we'll probably film it and then add it in the beginning. <laughs> Make it look like we caught it earlier, but later. Who knows? But it's coming in, storm maybe. Yeah, there's a little bit of cloud starting to blow in and uh, stuff like that. But I think uh, I had a good day. Did you have a good day? A fun day. Did had you? A lot of fish. Yeah. He thanked me off camera. That he, he was, his gratitude was awesome, but he won't thank me on camera. <laughs> no, thanks for bringing me. <laughs> thanks for coming. <laughs> Enjoy whooping up on you. He whooped up on me really bad. <laughs> my no, thumbs we, are snagging inside my gloves. We did uh, good this morning on throwing the rattle traps. They did. Uh, the rattle traps were solid this morning. We First thing in the morning, rattle trap was solid. End of the day on jerk baits because we had to go slower. It seemed like they were just not wanting to chase anymore. And we were on points with weight. Well, not only that, I think I think what it is is that the baby crappie were wounded and they were taking advantage of a wounded presentation versus a moving presentation. So where a jerk bait is at. But, you know, we caught several on a jerk and caught several on a rattle trap. We caught some kind of kai tech. Uh, then it came. Then it's possible. Okay. 
<laughs> you caught one on a kite. Maybe two. By accident. <laughs> They're yawning. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, um, we're going to call it a day. I hope the show was fun. Um, I got my photos that I needed for the scale, the new waterproof scale. Take a look at it. Check it out. Accucall.com. Um, we'll try to post a few pictures up there with the scale being used. The bigger the, fish for the bigger. Yeah, for that catfish, it was awesome. So, but just little stuff like that, and uh, the waterproof scales uh, was my main promotion out here today. And uh, granted, I didn't really use it on camera, but uh, it was more for uh, the point of sale pieces for my packaging. So, got that done. I hope, I hope, and it all looks good and uh, we can get it out there and you guys enjoy it and if you need a good waterproof scale at a at a, at a good price uh, i think uh, us at acticol can uh, provide that so other than that i appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos liking sharing and uh, subscribing i really appreciate it and um, hope to see you out there on the water don't forget to say hi to me if you see me thanks thanks for a fun day later from brownlee all right <laughs>